welcome one more time to 115th Harley Davidson anniversary uh, here in Prague, Czech Republic. And let me invite on the stage Miss Karen Davidson, please. Karen Davidson. Hi, Karen. Hello. And accompanied by her brother, Bill Davidson. Hi, Bill. How are you? I'm fine. Have a seat. So. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, how does it feel these days in Prague? Tell us, Bill. When did you arrive, actually? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, let's see, we left, uh, Tuesday, we got here Wednesday. We left Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA on Tuesday, and that was July 3rd, and we arrived in Prague at 5.30 p.m. on the 4th, and at 7 o'clock we were picked up in the lobby and we went to the Rolling Stones concert. Wow. <laughs> Is there anybody who was, who was there also in the yeah. Rolling Stones? Anybody? Yeah. Show the wristbands. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was super. Karen was there so, too, wasn't yeah, you? Yeah, I was, I was there too. It was fantastic. Uh, the stage show was amazing. We were all far away, but I mean, it was just amazing. And uh, Mick for 75 was just uh, jumping Jack Flash. <laughs> 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 so, and you know, I just have to say, this is my third time in Prague, so I am just thrilled that we have our anniversary right here. It couldn't be a more perfect place, and I see lots of happy faces, and uh, the accommodations have been just amazing by the city, and you know, the welcome that everybody has given us has been fantastic. Do you like Prague, Bill? Uh, yes, I, I need to reiterate what Sister Karen just said. This is an amazing place. This is my second time here. I was here in 2004. Um, it's great to be back. And I think it's also very fitting that we are kicking off our global 115th anniversary here in Prague. Very cool. Um, our second party will be in Milwaukee, Labor Day weekend. You're all invited. Everybody yeah, come yeah, visit come us, us. In, in Milwaukee. Nice. It's a short um, trip. But it's great. It's great to be here, and I, I want to thank all of you for your wonderful hospitality. You make us feel like this is our second home, so thank you very oh, much. Thank you for your acknowledgement. Thank you very much. Uh, it's obvious that you ride for a pretty long time, okay? Uh, as far as I know, you started being uh, pretty young kids. Six, six months. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> if that counts, <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Uh, was it common in those days that uh, that children of your age were riding motorcycles, or was it more, you know, the family special uh, attitude, which is natural, of course? Well, I think you got to remember we we grew up with orange and black in our blood, <laughs> and Harley Davidson was our lives. Um, we actually started riding at a very young age. Uh, Dad Willie, Mom Nancy surprised us with a Harley Davidson M50 that Willie had customized. And he said, we're going to take this to a local park, which was just outside of Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And we learned how to ride on that M50. and. There's always a time in your life that you don't forget, and the time, one of the times I won't forget is that time where you feel the sense of freedom by taking the handlebars by yourself for the first time. And um, that happened because when I was learning, Willie was on the back. I was six years old. Willie was on the back instructing, we're moving. And then he said, okay, slow down, I'm gonna jump off the back. And Willie jumped off the back, and I kind of went like this, and I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm, I'm controlling this bike. Very yes. exhilarating. Great, yeah. great memory. Absolutely. Karen. Well, yeah. the, 
But there was a problem because I couldn't get, we had one bike, little bike, and he got it all the time. So it caused the fighting a lot. <laughs> but it was thrilling um, to be riding at a very young age. And um, I think we were grinning from the very start. Uh, the thrill of the throttle never leaves you. And uh, we've been road warriors, I can say, for a long time. Road partners. Um, sharing the road with riders across the world means a lot to us. It means everything to us. Uh, my dad said we ride with you and our family has been so privileged to get out there and be on the road with riders on very long distance rides. It started at a very early age for us. And we, it's something that we cherish and we honor. I think it's important to recognize that's when we started riding by ourselves. We were riding with Willie in a sidecar. Willie used to ride a sidecar year round in, uh, back home in Milwaukee. So year round means he was also riding in the dead of winter when it was snowing out and he would bundle us up when we were three or four years old and put us in that side hack and we'd go for a spin down to Juno Avenue to dad's office and hang out with him for a good amount of time looking at all the creations he was working on and um, that was fun because Willie he was a good rider I mean he used to race bikes like I did and um, Willie would take us in that side hack and he'd give us a thrill ride because he'd go around right hand corners and when you go around right hand corners on a side hack guess what happens the side hack comes way off the ground. <laughs> and then you can balance it up in the air. So at three or four years old, feeling that experience, we were cracking up, we were having a lot of fun. And Willie was laughing too. What did your mama thought about that? Did she know? I'm not sure if mom ever knew. I don't think she knew. <laughs> Probably not. We kept it amongst ourselves. Yeah, we should maybe share that with her. I don't know. Maybe now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, little kids go into school from Davidson family. Uh, what was it like? Uh, did, did the kids uh, respect you more or they didn't care? Or what was it like to live with uh, the name Davidson? Or is there more Davidsons around Wisconsin, Milwaukee? So the neat thing is nobody knew. Really? Really. Yeah, it's true. Um, mom and dad were raising us like normal kids and that was the best you know we 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 do like everybody play baseball go outside and play kickball or soccer um, it, it was great and and that continued for many many years it probably wasn't until high school time that you started to put some of these puzzle pieces together. And then it was a pretty awesome, proud feeling to realize that we are part of a, a famous name. Um, Mom and Dad always told us to pursue our dreams, and um, that meant a lot. Yeah, and I think, um, I think it was important to know that the company was a lot smaller um, back then. And um, we were just, you know, part of the school community and no, no, nothing special, nothing special at all. Um, and I think you're right about high school, you know, maybe, you know, there was a sense of something. And our spring breaks eventually were rallies. <laughs> yeah. So then... <laughs> yeah. Lots of rallies. Yeah. You know what's really cool now is there, there's classmates that will call for a favor <laughs> and they'll say, hey Bill, I had no idea you were connected to the family. Um, and that's pretty rewarding, you know, that, that you guys, you, you've met us, we're, we're like you, we, we put our pants on the same way. <laughs> And we have a good time with all of you. We love riding with you guys, and it, this is what it's all about, right? Sharing stories and enjoying the open road with all of you guys and helping us make this great company what it is. We, we 
really appreciate your continued support, your enthusiasm, your passion for this great company, and the experiences that we share together. It's absolutely amazing. So a great big thank you from Karen and I and the family. The, the only thing that I can remember in high school, I, I must have been like having a lot of impressions when I was very young, because in high school I wore more leather than any other girl. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I have to say that from my perspective, and I believe the crowd shares it with me, this approach that you, you, don't, uh, you don't make any barriers in between you and uh, the writer is, is so obvious to, to anybody that I want to thank you for that. It's, it's not common these, these days, you know, for people of your importance. When we take a, one more look uh, back in the time, talking about the heritage uh, and about uh, your grandmas and grandpas, do you recall any moment when they surprised you or scared you or made you laugh? So, you know, it, it's an amazing history. You guys know it. Um, our great-grandfather, William A., was one of the founders, along with our two great uncles, Uncle Walter, Uncle Arthur Davidson, and their good friend, Bill Harley. Um, we didn't know them. Willie did. Mm -hmm. um, but it's almost like we do know them because it, it often feels like they're looking down with big grins on their faces and uh, are very proud of what all of us have done as a unified Harley-Davidson family. Um, a lot of times we're asked, do you think they really knew what this was going to be? And probably not. They knew they had something special but they probably didn't know how big of a global, iconic brand Harley-Davidson was going to become. But thanks to those guys for what they did, they, they created a treasure. And uh, I'm proud to oversee the museum in Milwaukee where we've got 115 years of that treasure on display for all you guys. That museum is your museum. So if you have the opportunity, come and see your museum. It's an awesome place. And also, they kept incredible records, which you're the keeper of. I mean, they were really good at recording and keeping a lot of archival memorabilia. Um, I have one quick story about my grandfather. I went over to his house, and I was uh, just getting in the business of apparel, and I was trying to tell him how proud I was about doing more apparel. And he looked at me and he said, we've done it all. Because he knew it started in 1912. And I mean, he will live through lots of jackets, lots of sweaters. And here I come all excited, you know, we're gonna do some more stuff. And he's like, we've done a lot. <laughs> so, but you have to appreciate that too. We're one of the, you know, original brand, iconic brands. And that all started in 1912. So I'm fortunate to have found my way there. I will force you to stay there a little bit because we didn't talk about grandmas, if you don't mind. Yes. Just, just small things so, because the women normally keep the family kind of together, the fireplace. Was it like that? So I, I talked about um, our great-grandfather. Karen mentioned grandpa. Um, grandpa we knew very well. Um, holiday get-together, birthday parties, it was the family. and. It was always conversation about Harley Davidson. And we remember that. You know, you'd be at a Christmas celebration talking about the company and good and bad, right? Because it was part of the business. Um, the good has always prevailed, thank goodness. We have been through many, many different chapters. It's an incredible history of 115 years. And really, when you think about it, when you add up 115 years of experience, that authenticity and that expertise is just the foundation 
to begin the next 115 years. So we're going to rock and roll for another 115 years. Mm -hmm. Plus. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Beyond. <laughs> There's one story I do need to share about um, a part of our history that you may not know about, but you guys remember the famous iconic wooden shed, 10 by 15 wooden shed, where we started, the backyard of our great-great-grandfather. Um, my great-great-grandfather, Karen and our great-great-grandfather, actually was a carpenter, and he built that shed. Um, the guys built the first bike in that shed, and we actually had that shed in the parking lot at our headquarters on Juneau Avenue for many, many years. In the late 60s, my grandfather, who was coming into work, my grandfather was president from 1942 to 72. In the late 60s, he was coming into work and he noticed that that shed had turned into a little bit of a, a storage shed. It was turned into a little bit of an eyesore. So he asked a couple of guys to clean the shed up. Well, unfortunately, they thoroughly cleaned the shed up. They tore it down, and the shed was no longer. Two days before my grandfather passed, he brought that story up to me. And I had a neat opportunity in my career path at the company. I was overseeing our entertainment marketing and racing, and so I was responsible for Sturgis and Daytona and hog rallies and dirt track and drag racing, all that kind of good stuff. And I thought, you know what, this is my opportunity. So we rebuilt the shed. We researched it with the Wisconsin Historical Society, the Milwaukee Public Library, and we built that shed. We've had it in Daytona, Sturgis. It's been set up for all of our anniversaries. And two years ago, I couldn't stand the fact that it was going into storage after our anniversaries, and I said, you know what? We're going to move that shed to the museum, we're going to set it up, and it's going to be a permanent fixture on the grounds of the museum. So when you come to visit your museum, you will also see your shed. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm Cheeky Monkey, so let's be a little personal now, okay? Karen, yeah. uh, when you were 10 years old, yeah. was there anything you found really irritating about your older brother. Yes, because I told you, not that we didn't fight a lot, <laughs> occasionally, but we only, we had a limit. We had one small bike and we had one snowmobile and we were always outside. We were always doing stuff and we always liked motor vehicles, but he didn't share very nicely because he would get it, and then he would take it for a very long time. And it's like, okay, <laughs> done. Nope, done. Yeah. Nope, you can't have it. <laughs> okay, and Bill, uh, at the same time, was there anything uh, you admired on Karen? You had younger sister. Was there anything you thought, okay, she's younger, so okay, I won't, I won't let her my snowmobile ride her. You know? <laughs> yeah, but right. at the end of the day, this is, this is what the girl must be loved for. Yeah. No, there's, there's a lot that I have admired. Um, one of the best things was when my brother and I would get into arguments, maybe a little brotherly fight once in a while, Karen was always there refereeing. <laughs> 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 um, no, Karen is truly an amazing artist, an amazing, amazing fashion designer. Um, I remember growing up, some of the school projects that she would bring home, um, and one of them... <laughs> Why do you laugh, Karen, now? <laughs> okay. There's one of them many. was a... We can't um, wait to hear it. <laughs> a sculpture made out of... Uh, fabric, right? And it was a wild sculpture and Willie and my mom really liked it so they put it up in the home. And we started recognizing these little flies, these little things flying around the house. 
and we finally realized that the sculpture that Karen had made was made out of raw wool. So the raw wool was attracting moths. They liked and they liked that. It was a nice house for them. <laughs> it was a nice house. So that was something that unfortunately we had to get rid of and get the house <laughs> cleaned up. We had up lots of there. creative projects around the house. I thought you were going to mention my snakeskin jackets that I made. From yeah, those were good. The Is that, that was uh, python, right? That was python, python skin. Yeah. 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 Uh, special imported from Africa. Well, anyway. you've been in the business of art apparently since, since ever, yeah. after all. Thank you for all your answers and I thank you guys for applause for Davidson family over here. Thank you. Náš klub nejstarší na světě, Harley Davidson Klub Praha, je velmi potěšen vaší návštěvou v České republice a v Praze. Doufáme, že se vám tady líbí u nás. This is for you from Harley Davidson Club Praha. Let me now invite here uh, Marek Stenzel, who is the director of content of the entire 115th celebration of Harley. He's made enormous work and this talk show, guys, especially to you from Harley Davidson Club Prague, this is his present to your 90th birthday. So happy birthday, Harley Davidson Club Prague. So history is amazing related to our 115 years. I mentioned earlier that it's 115 years of enthusiasts, memories, incredible stories, and there is an incredible story from Prague. Celá historie Harley Davidson je historií příběhů. 115 let nejrůznějších kapitol, událostí, zážitků a prožitků. A jeden z těch prožitků, ze kterých je Harley Davidson Motor Company také složena, pochází z Prahy. Tak 
So, it's your birthday, 90 years, 1928 is when the Club Praha started. And so we've put a little certificate together that commemorates Club Praha being the oldest enthusiast club in the world. And we'd like to present this to you. Já myslím, že to nemusím ve skutečnosti překládat. Byl a Karen jako dárek k 90. narozeninám Harley klubu Praha předávají jejich oficiální certifikát stvrzující, že Harley Davidson klub Praha je tím nejstarším klubem entuziastů Harley Davidson na světě. Let me invite now Jarda Vavřina, Pavel Kubíček, and if we have Vojta around, oh, Vojta was hiding a little bit in the second or third row. These guys are a little bit on blame, because it's Harley Davidson Praha, uh, who is on the local side of organizing 115th Harley Davidson event here in Prague. But also, but also, for more than more than uh, quite a time, for for decades, in fact, uh, the Harley Davidson Prague is in the business and is dedicated and has its heart into Harley Davidson world. I'd like to thank Harley Davidson Prague for their continued dedication, their passion, their support of Club Praha, their vision for this event, Prague Harley Days, and truly the global kickoff of Harley Davidson's 115th anniversary. We thank you, the Motor Company thanks you, the family thanks you, and we appreciate everything you guys continue to do. Thank you. I think this is the marvelous closure of our little talk show. Bill and Karen have pretty tight schedule because they are going also to the Muay Thai tonight and they have, they have so much things to enjoy here that it may be even a little bit tiring. So thank you one more time Karen and one more time Bill. Applause to our guests, applause to Harley Davidson Club Rock, applause to all of you who are celebrating the 115 years of the world's best motorcycles. <laughs>